It is done. Can I go and see my mother now? Only the Grand Inquisitor may say. But you told me. My words are of no importance. Only those of the Grand Inquisitor. But be sure, you are very precious to him indeed. In a row, I've been on Episangri's duty. When's it gonna end, eh? Soon. The hour of operation approaches. But think of Vitalis. Your ordeal is nothing compared to his. What is that? Strange. Breaking you, I clear your way. The way to the blood of the Chosen One. Today's refining gone. The quality is excellent, but the mass of raw episanguis is decreasing. Our harvesters are being decimated by the rats. Do your best. The life of the Grand Inquisitor depends on the quality of the distillate. Overwhelmed by the fight, I fear it will now attack his mind. 
Don't worry. The boy's blood will restore the power's equilibrium. Hey down there. The distillate is thickening. It will soon be necessary to change the filters and scrape the tanks. Twenty pounds. We have almost reached the objective. I hope so. Because that's all we'll be able to produce. It is already a miracle that Vitali's body can take such quantities of Epicyclus. This faith protects him. It protects us all. in front of the cathedral. Oh, so you'll be right next to the Grand Inquisitor when he frees us. And I'll be stuck here. We'll all meet again afterwards. The end of the fight. It's going to be quite a party. Come on. Be brave. With steam. Oh, I'm gonna go blind from this. I know I am. Damn it. <gasps> That's enough. I demand to see Vitalis now. The Grand Inquisitor is very busy. Busy? I am the Archbishop. I represent the Pope. Monseigneur, the mission of the Grand Inquisitor is sacred. His mission was never approved by the Church. I see here only heresy and occultism. And you, you all follow him. My <laughs> head. Shut, Shut up. up. <laughs> I should make you more cautious. Magister, the text clearly mentions the ascension of a child during the Great Plague of Justinian. I knew it. The Roman nobles isolated him from the people and worshipped him in secret. Maybe an ancestor of Hugo de Rune. Continue. They're talking about me.
By freeing the country from the bite, the Grand Inquisitor will gain the adoration of the people, and with it, unprecedented political power. Archbishop Gautier's presence here says a lot. The Pope's court is worried, and so they should be. Serves them right for not intervening earlier. The Prima Macula, on the cusp of the first threshold, no. devours the lost carrier, or walks beside the one who tames it, master or slave. Beatrice de Rue's research texts are all coded. How can we be sure? I give up. I have some good news. They finally moved her to the basement. So she's going to crack. About time. Mommy. Grand Inquisitor, the Archbishop has arrived. Perfect. Bring him in. Vitalis. Monseigneur Gautier, I trust your journey went well. Now spare me your niceties. We grow tired of your little game, Vitalis. A game, Archbishop? <laughs> Can a game change the future of the world? Listen to yourself. You have completely lost your mind. And all this is... Uh, if I may, it's important. We have the blood of Hugo de Hun. Have you tested it? Yes, uh, alas, Monseigneur. The boy should have reached the first threshold already, but it seems something in his blood has slowed the process. The macula is still in its original state. No matter. 
If the books are correct, my blood and his will be bound. When he reaches the next threshold, I shall reach it with him. Proceed. That's enough. You play the martyr. But allow me to tell you the truth. You are a vile heretic driven mad by power. The Pope considers you a threat. Vitalis Benevon, you are to be excommunicated. One can excommunicate a man, Archbishop. <laughs> but not a saint. Your inquisition is over. Meaning that a new era commences. One where puppets such as yourself will kneel and beg me to save them. Is with us. Very good. Go and see whether Beatrice Doreen has regained consciousness. He's scary, but I have to follow him. Why does she keep resisting like that? We have the same goal. We both fight the plague. Only our methods differ. The daughter is making the same error. <sighs> Stupid. But the brother, he is unique. He might understand. Unique? I'm unique? At ease. At ignum. At Lucem, sir. So, you saw the Grand Inquisitor? Yes. The blood of the carrier flows through his veins. The conjuration will take place. Splendid. The end of the plague is nigh. Indeed. But do not lower your guard. Congratulations on capturing the child. We've been after him for weeks. And then he simply turns up here asking to see his mother. Huh. <laughs> Seems he has a sense of humor that he won't be keeping for long. I have to go and see his mother myself. What's he going to do with her? As I was telling you, this guard was devoured, but not completely. His bones were cut up and taken away by the rats. For what purpose? To incorporate them into that material we find everywhere. You mean their nests? They use our dead to build their nests. Precisely. And if we do nothing, at the rate the dead are accumulating, the nests will eventually join together to form one giant nest. It's just a matter of time. So let us pray. 
that Vitalis's conjuration ceremony will indeed take place. Where is he? I won't find Mummy without him. New rats here. Seeing as we have to transport them, you have nothing to fear from them. Meticulous crossbreeding and a little alchemy has tempered their instincts. Not to mention, hey, kid. A radical change. Of diet. Help me! Uh, help me! What's Good. wrong with him now? Hey, oh, no. die quietly. We're trying to work here. I'd rather he wait a little while. Rats prefer fresh meat. Damn you! You all go to hell. You, you and your fucking rats. not an end, for your blood shall nourish a new race of angels. They shall be your children, your child. It's, it's horrible. Nicholas go past. That Darun woman is gonna suffer, I'd say. Ah, serves her right. Ah, such an educated woman. She should have joined our side. Oh, no, she's way too stuck. But no match for our fortune. She must be near. Ah, please. At least let Can't me die get out. out there. You wouldn't like it out there, believe me. At least here, your carcass can still be of value to our alchemists. Think yourself lucky. Oh, bastard. Hey, kid. What the hell are you doing here? Shh. I have to find my mommy. The alchemist. Oh. You shouldn't. Magistrat Arun, for the last time, will you answer my questions? Or perhaps you are still upset about what happened to your husband? Right, our torturer will take care of you. You'll soon have your voice back, mark my words. Oh no, he's coming back. Hugo? But, but... So they... Amicia said you were dead, but you're not! Amicia? My darling... You must go... If they find you here... No! I'm staying with you! Oh, Hugo... Did they take your blood? Oh my god...
All right, Hugo. We'll go together. But you have to find the keys. They must keep them in the room at the end of the corridor. Can you make it there? Off you go then. Go. Be very careful. Come back as soon as you have the keys. When I return, I want everything prepared and ready to begin. Do you understand? Yes, Lord Nicholas. All right, you heard him. Everything will be ready. The alchemist will talk. I'm going to enjoy it. Just do your job. The captain of the guard doesn't appreciate improvisation, and neither do I. Uh, yes, of course. Let me know when you're ready. I have to make them leave. Right. At least they'll give me a promotion. Authority, selfs. I told right you it then. has to be efficient. That the ruined woman no has a skin of a real cheek. lady. So, anyway, the knife was sharpened, hammer, pliers, fiber, and sword. I don't forgot anything. Hmm. With the captain around, the best double check. If only Missy was here. No, I don't need her. Oh, the rats. They are all afraid of rats. If I can just free them. Lanterns. It's going to... Ah! My head! Stop shouting! <laughs>
did it. All by myself. What does it say? It says it wants me to join it. The first threshold. Tommy, I'm scared. We'll never get out of here. We don't have a choice. If I am with you, the voice, are you ready to reply? Hugo, can you hear them? Mm, yes. They all have the same voice. The one that makes my head hurt. Don't try to ignore it. Embrace it completely. Don't be afraid. Yes. Gonna deliver this? All we need now is to lose one of these cages. Be careful. Ah, rats! Rats! Bl 
black rat fuck help well done these rats what the hell did they do to them they make them eat people's blood really yes it's strange i can feel the black rats but not these ones i see we need to find a way to get out of here What are they going to do with these rats? Are you still alright, Hugo? It feels a bit funny. It will make you tired. That's normal. Tell me if you feel poorly. Yes. Decides. It's complicated to explain. But Amicia doesn't know. No. I'll explain later. We had an argument, Mommy. It's all right, my darling. Let's get out of here, huh? So, Beatrice, you are reunited with your son at last. I know what you have done to him. You have taken what you wanted, now let him go. Oh, you insult me, Madame de Rune. Your son is the natural carrier of the macula. And it has not yet finished with him. Which means, neither have I. But this you know. Vitalis, let us finish this. Nicolas, you cannot understand. You feel it as I do. Do you not, boy? We are bound by blood now. What do you think, Hugo? Your family grows larger, huh? I beg of you. I promise to help you, but allow my son to leave. His destiny is not to be a Darun. His destiny is to be here, at my side. You are a monster. A monster? Madame, you have yet to see just how. Hugo, can you hear me? Oh no. 
He is powerful, but he has not reached the threshold as we'd hoped. Do you know why? Amicia. It's Amicia? How tiresome. But he's close now. And we have other pawns we can play. Take her away. Leave him alone! What else do you want? <laughs> A lot more. So much more. And you will stay here with me to make sure we get it. Do not worry, Hugo. I have complete faith in you. We shall succeed.